Hey guys, Video James, and we're going to be looking at how to use Skarmory today. But before we do that, I wanted to just say Happy Memorial Day to all you guys out there. Hope you're having a good one. And if you are actually celebrating Memorial Day and celebrating people, like people who are memorialized on Memorial Day, I hope you're at least having good thoughts today and good wishes to all you guys. But anyway... Not to dwell on that too much, because that's going to end up making me sad. I always get sad on, like, certain holidays, like, um, Memorial Day is one. But uh, another one, I think Halloween is one I get sad on, because I remember a long time ago, I used to be told I couldn't do any Halloween anymore, because it was like I couldn't do Halloween because I was too old or something. And I'm like, you're never too old for Halloween. I mean, it's just, it's basically just cosplay, isn't it? I'm using the right word, aren't I? Yeah. Okay. Anyway, I gotta get off this topic. We're gonna be looking at how to use Skarmory today. Now, Skarmory is one of everyone's favorite Steel types. It's actually one of everyone's favorite Pokemon altogether, just because it's been around for so long, and so many people have seen it and used it, and just, it's an absolute fan favorite. So, when we look at Skarmory, we see Steel flying. Okay. So, we're losing ground as a Steel weakness. We're losing rock as a weakness. And our only real weakness is actually going to be Fire and Electric, which is actually really good. And I would have thought that Steel resisted Electric, but no, it's actually damaged normally, so that's something I did not know. But anyway, Skarmory having pretty basic abilities for a Steel Bird type, Keen Eye and Sturdy. But then, we see that Skarmory's got Weak Armor, which is actually an amazing ability, which means when the Pokemon is hit by a physical attack... Its defense is lowered, but its speed goes up by two stages, and that helps Skarmory a lot, because it's only got 70 base speed, so that actually makes it go a lot better than it normally would. And then when we look at what Skarmory can actually hurt, we see we've got Grass, we've got Flying Bug, we've got uh, Fairy, we've got, I think Rock is damaged by Steel, we've got Ground, I know definitely is damaged by Steel, we got Ice... And Skarmory's just got good coverage all around, because he's got a bunch of moves that he's actually got. He's got a bunch of counter moves and all that. He actually does get counter as a move, if I can find out where it is. I know he gets counter, but he also gets stuff like Rock Slide and x Scissor. Admittedly, x Scissor's not that great of a move, but it still works sometimes. And he does actually get a lot of setup, like Stealth Rock, Taunt, Toxic, and all that. So he can all around work together really well. He also gets stuff like Iron Defense, Iron Head, Tailwind, really good move, actually, but a bird type. And there it is, Counter. A retaliation move that counters any physical attack and inflicting double the damage taking. So your opponent's trying to hit you with, say, a Lucario or a Flare Blitz from a Mega Charizard X, then you just hit Counter and, like, okay, bam. And that actually works really well with Sturdy. Because counter is one of those moves where it's like, okay, I want to get hit, but I don't want to die. And then, moving over into Pokemon... Sh oh, no, stats. Stats change. Stats. And then we see his stats. We got 80 attack, 140 defense. I think he's actually one of the strongest defensers that there are. 40 in special attack, 70 in the special defense, and then 70 in the speed. So it's like, okay, well-rounded. kind of, Kind of nice. And then moving over into Showdown, we see that we've got a basic Choice Scarf Sweeper. I usually always try and find a Choice Scarf Sweeper set, just because that's usually the easiest and most comprehensible set to use, and almost every set can actually handle it. That almost every Pokemon set has a way to handle a Choice item, be it Choice Band, Choice Specs, or Choice Scarf, and it has a way to make that work very well. So then we see the move set for this one, Choice Scarf with Weak Armor, Brave Bird, Iron Head, Night Slash, Rock Slide, and then just max out the attack and speed with an Adamant Nature. Now, this is basically just Stab for damage plus the Flinch, because with Brave Bird, we're getting that 120 base power, making quite a decent, strong hit. And then we've got Iron Head for that Stab as well, plus the chance to flinch off Iron Head. Night Slash just there for that critical hit, plus that dark coverage. And then we've got Rock Slide as a actually really well working move on Skarmory because Skarmory seems to work really well with Warrock Slide. I don't know why, but it seems like, because when you're playing Pokemon, Rock Slide is the move that has low accuracy and good chance to flinch, but it's like, okay, but I gotta get this hit off. 
And normally what I see is Rock Slide has a pattern where if it's on a steel type or a rock type or something like that, then it'll hit a lot more than it would on another type. So I don't know if there's like some hidden mechanic to Rock Slide or something. I don't know if there's like some secret buff to it that no one knows about, but Rock Slide does seem to work better on steel and ground and rock types. So that's weird. I don't know. And then we just max out the attack since Skarmory doesn't really have much in ways of attack and it does need as much boost as possible, so we just throw in max and then put on adamant nature. And then we just max out the speed because with weak armor, if we get hit by a defensive move, then our speed is going to be doubling, making us go into the 470s. And with that choice scarf giving our speed an extra 0.5, that's making it go up even faster. And then just probably throw the rest into HP or special defense, whichever one you would say would work better. Honestly, I would have said probably special defense because that's higher and special defense is more kind of reluctant. But Skarmory does work really well against a lot of stuff, including stuff like Toxapex. You know, stuff that just tries to throw out Toxic Spikes or throw out Poison or Water type moves and try and kill you. But, Toxfax doesn't have much access to special water type moves, which means usually you're going to see one with liquidation. So you're going up against like a Toxapex, Skarmory is almost a perfect match, because then you just weak armor for the liquidation, and then, oh, I'm getting that extra speed, boy. And even the liquidation does have the chance to kind of lower your defense even more. Not really going to matter with a water type move. Water does very little damage to a Skarmory, almost nothing if it's a low power move. Or a low power move from a low power Pokemon. And then we see the next set is kind of a set up the healer set. That we've got Swords Dance, Brave Bird, Iron Head, and Roost. With the Life Orb this time instead of the Choice Scarf. So just Swords Dance to get that attack up to max. Because on this set we're not running uh, attack boosting nature. And we're actually running something different. Brave Bird for the damage. Iron Head for the damage. Iron Head for the flinch. Brave Bird for the massive power. And then just roost to gain back whatever health we lose from damage or life orb, which works really well because Skarmory, like I said, a little bit of a tank. Doesn't really try and take much damage at all. And then we see the EVs in this one just maxed out HP and special defense with a careful nature thrown on. Now let me explain why it's not speed this time. This set doesn't rely on speed as much because you're setting up, so you're wanting them to hit you at least once in order to get your speed raised for you. And since we have the weak armor, we don't really need much investment in speed because one hit, and we're already getting faster than almost every Pokemon with base 100 speed. And then we see just Roost there for the heal. That Roost gives us 50% health boost, and it just keeps us alive for whatever we need. That even if we're getting slammed by a bunch of physical moves over and over again, Roost is going to be there and it's going to give us at least 50% of our HP back. And then we see the next set, common Skarmory uh, setup set that we've got Stealth Rock, we've got Toxic, we've got Tailwind. I thought Skarmory had U-Turn, but apparently it does not. So I just threw on Iron Head. You can throw on Spikes or Whirlwind, which actually would work really better. Wait, let me see this. I'm going to change this to Whirlwind, actually, because that actually works really better now that I think of it. There we go. No, not x Scissor. What? But anyway, this set's basically just a setup because Skarmory, like I said, does have massive setup potential with it having so many setup, setting, and blocking moves. So this one's basically just a set up potential that we've got Stealth Rock, Toxic, Tailwind, and Whirlwind, along with Leftovers and Sturdy ability. Now, Sturdy just keeping us alive there, making us survive all the flamethrowers, all the heat waves, anything that just tries to absolutely wreck us in the face. Leftover is just there for a small bit of health recovery. Stealth Rock is just the damage move. It's Stealth Rock just lies in wait to damage everyone, and with Whirlwind, you can actually force Pokemon onto the Stealth Rock and actually get them into the danger zone. And then we see Toxic just for that damage, because Toxic amazing move in killing something without actually touching it. And then Tailwind just to give Skarmory a little, eh, a little speed boost. Because Tailwind boosts your entire team's speed by two, 
So even if Skarmory is going to go down, you can just use a Tailwind on the first Sturdy and just set it up for the next Pokemon to come in. That if they kill your Skarmory, Tailwind's there for the next Pokemon. That if it's a Greninja, you're just hitting into like 600 base speed. And then we see the next Skarmory. Wait, did I say the EVs for this one? No, I didn't. Stupid James. The EVs for this one, basically just the same as last one. That... With the HP and special defense being maxed out. That's your basic Skarmory tank set. That Skarmory doesn't need much in the way of defense. He can get it. But, like I said, he doesn't really need much. He's already in the 316. So unless you're running weak armor, you don't really need any investment in a tank Skarmory set that has defensive max. And then we see special defense just maxed out again. HP maxed out. And then a careful nature once more. And then, you can throw the rest into defense. I would throw it into speed, though. Because speed, giving us that one extra point, could end up giving us the win. And then, the last Skarmory set is just a setup down set. That we've got Defog, Taunt, Toxic, and Whirlwind again. That Defog, get rid of all hazards on the field. Get rid of all Stealth Rock, all Toxic Spikes, all basically anything. And then, Taunt there just to stop stuff like... Like I said, Toxapex, or taunt their stop stuff like a Mega Sableye. That Mega Sableye having stuff like Calm Mind, Will O Wisp, and Recover, taunt just being there to stop it works out really well. And then Toxic, again, just for that damage, and Whirlwind to switch out a Pokemon if it's trying to be a hero and save your opponent's team. And again, for this one, basically same EVs. Special attack, ma special attack. Special defense maxed out with a careful nature. HP maxed out, and just four in the defense again. And, like I said, this one is basically almost the same as the last one, except it's the opposite. That didn't make any sense at all. Why am I stupid? It basically just sets down all the setup Pokemon. That it says, sit down, you're not doing this, we're finishing this game the right way. And that's basically going to be it for how to use Skarmory. Like I said, there are a lot more ways you can run Skarmory. There's a lot of potential for him, and a lot of potential ways for him to actually be run that can be beneficial. But this is just like basic sets, basic kind of ideas, like all my other videos, that when I do a how to use video, when I do a how to use video, I try and make it to where it's just like suggestions, but at the same time, they're actual sets. They're actual competitive things that can run well. Because I don't expect people to follow my sets completely. I don't expect them to adhere to them 100%. I know sometimes I do some stuff wrong, and some people are going to make changes here and there to some of the sets to make them better, or just not use them all together. And that's fine. Because, like I said, these are just suggestions. All my How to Use videos are basically just suggestions that incorporate actual sets into the suggestions. But anyway... Like I said, I'm leaving this How to Use Skarmory video here. Again, hope you guys are having a good Memorial Day. Hope you guys are having fun with all the people you're around. And if you like this video, you can slap the like button as always. And I will see you guys later.